Welcome to the show. This is the Not So Ancient Chinese Secret Show. My name's Dave, and I just wanted to share a little bit of my thoughts uh, and what Terry's thoughts are on creativity, competition, and getting ahead. And I'm not sure how many of you guys are Terry Crews fans. Uh, I wasn't really a fan, sorry, Terry, until he was on the Tim Ferriss Show. And that's a podcast that I've been listening to for years. I love it. Recommend it. Um, I'll put a link in the comments, I think, um, to that show as well. But I listened to this show, uh, I think, a couple of years ago now, maybe two or three years ago. And then I became a huge fan of Terry. And besides knowing him as the original Old Spice dude and Brooklyn Nine-Nine, and now I think, you know, America's Got Talent and all that stuff, like he's so famous. But he's also an artist. On the Tim Fair show, I found out that he put his way through college, he paid his way through college by making paintings. So he was a football player who made paintings. Just absorb that, you know? Like, this guy is such a multi-talent. And now he's got his own furniture line. He designs furniture. And it's beautiful. We're going to have a picture of one of his pieces right um, soon in this, too. But um, anyways, uh, here we go. We're going to get started. And here ha is what Mr. Terry has to say. And this is um, kind of, he was asked, you know, what are bad recommendations you hear in the profession or area of expertise? Okay, so, and the bad advice he hears is work hard to beat the competition. And this is what he says. The truth is that competition is the opposite of creativity. If I'm working hard to beat the competition, it actually prevents me from thinking creatively to make all concepts of competition obsolete. Wow. As a football player, I was told to work hard to compete against the other teams. Some persevered future, perceived future threats, new draftees, age or injury, and even my current teammates. As an actor, you are told to look a certain way or do things you don't agree with in order to compete. This competitive mindset destroys people. It's the scorched earth way of thinking, and everyone is burned. The truth, is, the truth is that you need the success of everyone in your field in order to achieve your own success. Creativity operates differently. You work hard because you're inspired to, not because you have to. Work becomes fun and you have energy for days because this life is not a young man's game. It is an inspired man's game. And I love that. Isn't that a gorgeous couch? An inspired man's game. The keys belong to whoever is inspired, and no specific age, sex, gender, or cultural background has a monopoly on inspiration. When you're creative, you render competition obsolete because there is only one you, and no one can do things exactly the way you do. Never worry about the competition. When you're creative, you can, in fact, cheer others on with the full knowledge that their success when, uh, will undoubtedly be your own. Woo! I love that. It's amazing to be able to unpack his words of wisdom and that we don't need to step on other people to get ahead in this life like this world tells us to. And even in this time of uncertainty, if we can all band together, I know there's enough toilet paper out there. I know there's enough, you know, um, of us who want to help that we can make it through together. So yeah, that's all I have to say. And um, I'll get back to some of the comments here. Vlad says, hey, Dave. Vlad, I say, hey, back. Uh, let's do a video Skype soon. And Damon says, is watching. Hey, he says, and I say, and PG says, you work hard because you're inspired to, not because you have to. And he double thumbs that one. I totally agree. He, uh, Terry Crews, to end this off, we'll do a thought of the day, a quote that he loves. And I love this quote. It is this. God will not have his work made manifest by cowards. Whoa. I'll try not to be one. A coward. Yeah. Thank you, Ralph Waldo Emerson. So again, I don't think I can do this daily, um, but um, for uh, I think I'll try to do this maybe two or three times a week, uh, hopefully about this time, 11 to 12. So thank you guys for joining me. Uh, God bless. Watch out for each other. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Ciao for now.